What's up everybody? Can't be broken locks back again. A quick video. This is a big one because what I think that I have stumbled upon is the best way to see the back of your head. I don't think anybody's done this yet. And what we're going to do, we're going to screen share the back of our head to that guy over there. So I'm not even gonna make you guys wait. We all know how to screencast, we all watch your favorite television shows on the TV, but did you know that you could just set your camera up to record the back of your head and have it cast on the TV? And I'm going to show you guys just how overpowered this is. Just stay tuned. So what I did here, I actually just took a picture of my setup because I forgot to actually capture it from the side view video. Here you can see the tripod, turn the light on, and just prop your camera up right behind where your head is going to be sitting. And what I did right here was I just did something quick that I usually do. I just plugged my ring light into my um, portable battery, but I don't encourage you to do that. So now by this time, I'm already all set up. And this is just a view from the side so that you can see what I'm working with, how far away I am from the TV. And now I'm going to show you what it looks like from the back. So by now, I probably know what you're thinking. This guy needs a shape up. And you are correct. Um, and I best believe, from giving myself a shape up, I'm going to be using this strategy right here and I did kind of you know kind of off-center myself so that I could capture the back of my head and the TV so you could actually really like see what's happening but you could see how crystal clear of a picture you can get of the back of your head with you know not too much delay I mean I don't really think there'd be a reason for you to worry about delay in a situation like this where you're just looking at the back of your head but yeah, this is very, very efficient. So just to kind of give you an idea, I don't know why I'm pointing, but I just started pointing for some reason. Um, but the TV itself is about 60 inches and I'm probably sitting about five or six feet away and I'm nearsighted and I wear contacts. So I'm pretty sure if I can see this TV from here, you could probably see it from much further away. Now, if you do plan on doing an extended hair project with this, I would recommend setting your phone so that the display itself doesn't actually time out. So, you know, you want to get a good long session in. You know, you might be charging your phone. Your phone might be able to withstand that amount of time and, you know, just continue to run on. But I would say, you know, just to adjust this display setting so that you don't have this, you know, one to two hour long video on your phone, especially if your phone just doesn't have the storage capacity for it. But yes, everybody, this is my method for seeing the back of your head. Uh, and don't be afraid if you don't have a smart TV that is compatible with screencasting devices. Even if you have a laptop, you can cast to that. And worst case scenario, if you have an HDMI that is adaptable to your phone, that's another way that you can get around that issue. So don't fret. There are plenty of ways to do this. If you have more questions, I'm here for you. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Peace.